welcome back to the channel again today with another little tips and tricks for people who are starting the game tomorrow and this is five things you should do earlier at least start thinking about because it's going to be very helpful to your game so first and foremost if we go to new atlantis when you're in there and you go to the residential district we're going to find a bunch of shops that are very very useful but before we get into it make sure you hit that like button leave a comment down below telling me what your backgrounds and traits are and how you're feeling about the game so far uh, let's just get into it subscribe as well you might as well while you're here the shops in this area are very useful you've got a weapon shop which is great there's some great weapons in there for starter weapons a little bit pricey for probably a brand new player but just remember that this exists the centaurian arsenal now if we carry on down this way you're going to find a few shops that are here for you so like we've got cj's which is basically like a pharmacy you go there there's food there and all that fun stuff you know if you need kind of like food for cooking this is the place to go and then down here is where we're really going to get into it the clothing shops clothes are very important at the start of the game before you start getting like big things unlocked and stuff so if we go to the it it e -I -T clothiers right here they're gonna have buffs on these armor sets or the apparel sets i should say which are very useful let me get into your inventory so as you can see they've got 15 apparel choices now obviously it's how you look as well so if you want to look a certain way you can but we've got their plus five percent o2 recovery which is useful it's not the best but it's there these are the ones you want to look at though plus five percent persuasion chance persuasion games in this game can be quite difficult unless you have the persuasion perk from the start and you rank it up so having this little extra boost to persuasion is going to help you out when you forget that you haven't saved the game before the persuasion and you haven't got like a special buff on through some food or something so this will just be a passive thing that you have on all the time and you don't really need anything else at this point like persuasion chance is all you need right from the start as you get a little bit higher you might want to take some other things but you can see there's different looks and there's different buffs usually around o2 and persuasion but there are some other things as well in other shops so just have a look around find some shops find the things that you want and need just outside that shop as well you have the medical center where you can actually go and pay credits to be healed you can just go and lie down and go to sleep as well and you'll get healed regardless but if you're in this area and you need healing or you need to buy healing items you've got the reliant medical so shops are very important in this game and there's one more thing i want to show you in terms of shops so a really useful shop is right by the spaceport where your ship is if you run up this way we're going to go to the viewport and there's actually an activity quest in here too which is very cool and you get to play the persuasion game but there's a bar here and this bar will allow you to buy drinks and items to improve varying stats usually persuasion as well but it's very important and very missable if you don't do that activity that you could you know you could miss out on some big buffs so we got plus 12 percent persuasion chance for five minutes but you lose o2 recovery but if you're on a planet anyway or in a city you're not going to need that so we've got all persuasion stuff obviously you got carry capacity so if you wanted to carry a bit more you can but you lose o o2 recovery there's a lot of things here that you can that you can use effectively to make your game just a little bit easier and a little bit better i will let you discover that though when you get onto it but there are a lot of buffs and stuff in terms of food and drinks and clothes that you should be looking into when you get into the game a little bit you'll start to get companions like vasco and sarah morgan and you can use these to actually carry a lot of your gear because your mass might get overwhelmed so it's like having an extra person basically to just throw things on so for me i put weapons on them i put armors on them a bit of ammo because you can actually equip the weapons as well so at the moment she's carrying an exterminator pacifier shotgun or i can have her have the side star or anything i want them to have you can equip it onto them they also have this um spacesuit and they have this helmet which allows them to go invisible when they're in stealth so you can really throw things onto your companion to keep them safe and you can then carry stuff around even more stuff on yourself so weapons go on there for me but specifically certain resources i throw on them i found a farm here for helium free which gave me 280 helium free and over 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 encumbered myself that's a very hard word to say so i took half of them and i threw them on her and now we both can move around without any problems so companions can be very useful for equipping things too, allowing them to fight with you better and also being kind of a storage mule. The problem is with this is that you will have to go to like a shop or to a storage crate with them 
and stand there and take everything off them and then put it into the storage case or sell it and then take everything off them and so on and so forth there's no easy way to do that but it's definitely worth when you are around doing things talking about weight and masses and stuff you can and should early on improve your weightlifting perk this gives you way more space to have so it increases your total carrying capacity by 100 kilograms and you gain 50 percent resistance to stagger when at rank four and it's very easy and you will do it naturally to rank it up you basically have to run around a certain amount of steps while carrying 75 percent of your mass which you're going to do all the time every perk point you get then you just rank it up by one now i barely ever hit the mass level that, I, that i'm at right now You've got wellness as well for increased health if you want to rank that up and fitness for increased oxygen. I don't mind too much, but these are two perks that are very useful at a lower level. Persuasion is also a good thing to take as soon as possible if it's not built into your background because you're going to be able to play the persuasion game a little bit easier and with buffs from drinks and buffs from clothes, you're going to win the persuasion game quite a lot. Combat is where you're going to want to put some points into, into the weapons, I suggest doing it as you are unlocking those weapons. So I started off with pistol, then I went to shotgun when I got my first shotgun. My shotgun is now at rank 2, it does 20% more damage because I had a B shotgun. And now recently I've started to get laser weapons, so I put points into that. But ballistics will allow all of your weapons that do physical damage that fire bullets to do 20% more damage at rank 2. So I took ballistics up to rank 2 and then I've got everything else pretty much at a rank 1. Um, and I'm putting out a lot of damage with those weapons. And then the last thing I suggest that you do for sure is upgrade your security. This allows you to hack things and get in digi locks. And at rank two, you actually get a big buff of being able to see what digi lock patterns go into what section. It makes it a hell of a lot easier. So definitely get that up to rank two. There's a few other things you can try, like boost pack training is obviously very useful for getting around. And surveying, if you like looking at planets, this is a great way to a great perk to build up and, and make it a little bit easier and more fun and those are the tips on what you should be doing early i've went i've went into more depth in other videos about these specific things but this is just kind of like a little list for the newer people who are going to be joining the game tomorrow to kind of feed off of and hopefully improve their quality of life when they start the game so if this helped hit the like button subscribe all that fun stuff thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome